Hey pilots and welcome to Prototype Monday. This is a set of videos about various aircraft prototypes from Cold War and beyond. And today we're going to talk about the Tu-91, the doomed baby bomber that was once called to be as powerful as an entire naval cruiser. One of the first things that'll jump at you in the Tu-91 design is of course its single nose-based counter-rotating propeller. And indeed, this propeller and its engine is actually the predecessor to the engine that ended up on the Tu-95, the Soviet Bear that still is actively used. But the Tu-91 did not get much love. As a matter of fact, it got the boot because that was its NATO name. Now, the Tu-91 was designed to be a two-person, so pilot and a weapons officer, short-range, carrier-based, bomber with dive bombing capability its single engine and fuel capacity would give it a range of about a thousand miles and it would take off and land from carriers as a matter of fact it was supposed to be part of the soviet carrier force in the early 50s and 60s unfortunately the carrier force never materialized but the tu-91 was built and armed with heavy cannons machine guns remotely controlled turret that the weapons officer could employ. It would carry torpedoes, bombs for attacking ships and submarines, as well as potentially nuclear weapons. Indeed, that was the goal of this aircraft, to strike at US Navy ships. Originally, the aircraft was requested by the Soviet leadership, yes, Stalin, in 1952. Stalin loved the Navy and wanted to challenge the might of the US on the big seas. However, Stalin didn't last much longer. By 1954, he was out and that is just when this aircraft started to fly. By 1956, Nikita Khrushchev ordered a cancellation of the aircraft because Khrushchev didn't care for the Navy and cared about rockets. So the Tu-91 didn't get much more action beyond being that one prototype that was shown off to Western officers, but nothing else that really happened with it. So I don't think that this aircraft, in my opinion, could have really stood up against the might of the US Navy, but let me know what you guys think. And of course, comment, like, share, subscribe, and let me know if you wanna see more of these videos.